it's Don, the auction professor here. Um, I just got back from a thrift store haul. Um, it was a half price day for the clothing, and I got some clothing down here. I'll show you two. Um, I'll just show you some of the quick items I got first. Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but these are actually koala bears. It's vintage 50s Japan um, salt and pepper shakers. I'm not really sure what this shaker is for. It's a tea. Um, I'm kind of at lost. Teramac, I'm not sure, but they're marked on the bottom, Japan. It's an earlier piece. Koala bears I usually sell very easily. Um, they're cute. These are actually adorable salt and pepper shakers. I may not even include that one. I don't know yet, but $1.99 I paid for it. Um, I think this one was half off too. Uh, no, actually this was full price. I did pay $1.99 for it. Sorry. This was a dollar. Um, I'll probably put, say, 30 bucks on this and just take whatever. Uh, it looks like it was stitched on at one time. Um, but even in that, it's still in real nice condition. It's still got the uh, glue on the back so they can still iron this on. This one I showed in another video. I don't remember. I mean, it was $1.55 I paid for it. Um, I used an expo to get the, uh, the, the price off of it. Good item. Uh, same with these were there, too. Some of these, if you look them up, you'll see they go for really good money. I've sold a couple of these for in the $150 range just for one of these. Um, I'll have to look these up to see if they're the first ones, but these are from, um, what's the date on them? 1982, so these are originals, uh, vintage ones. Um, I would expect, even if they're not the high dollar ones, to get, say, 20 bucks a piece for them. This here, some of these here, uh, let me show, go back to this for price-wise on some of these. Some of these books, for, this is from um, CBS, it's from 1984. I've sold some of these in the $75 range, so I do look for these. I usually don't see them in this decent condition. It's got some creasing, but it's still a good piece. Um, I'll probably look it up. If it's not one of the high-priced ones, I'll probably put $57.50 and take what I can get. Here's um, Microsoft Office Professional Edition 2003. It still has the code in the inside. So I got it. Um, I play around with older stuff and computers. I've got a stack of these from other ones. These This sells for 10 or 15 bucks usually with the code. If it's sealed, though, I always buy it. It'll always sell for good money because the code in here is still good. You can use it to update and the whole works. So uh, that's the uh, general goods I got here. And to the clothing... Here's the first clothing item I found. It was a uh, coat. It's a, actually a, uh, I'll show you in a second here, it's a Burberry. Uh, it was $9.99 and half of that, so I paid $4.99. I've looked it up. It looks to be authentic. It's got the uh, Burberry logo throughout the inside. It's in very nice condition. These aren't super pricey. Uh, it is a vintage one. I expect I'll probably put $75 to $100 on it, and uh, it should be a fairly quick mover. Okay. The oddball shirts always sell for us. I do mess with some of these. They're easy and quick to list. Um, this one here, uh, where's the price? It was $2.50. It was half of that. So <clears throat> you can kind of see it's a decent topic, decent design, very nice condition. Uh, looks like it was barely worn. It's an XL, good size. Uh, collegiate items. I'll have to actually look up who this is. I'm not a sports person. Um, it was $5.99 is what it said on here, but she actually rung it up as it was half of $0.99. Cents. Um, I compared it on the receipt, and that's what happened. So I'm not sure who that is. The Cardinals, maybe. Um, it looks like it's in excellent condition. Campus specialty. Um, I'm guessing maybe I'll put 50 bucks on it and see what happens. <clears throat> Here's something I see occasionally, too. This is actually a hunting... Let me put this aside for a second. This is actually a deer hunting outfit. It's vintage, and it actually has the tag still attached. It was never used. Probably from the 70s or 80s. Um, it's Thermo. It's a Melton. If you haven't heard of that, look it up. Um, a lot of their stuff does sell. They make women's clothing, I think, too. Um, it's in nice condition. Again, it was $19.99 full price. I paid $9.99 for it. I've sold hunting suits, like scent suits and things like this. Um, pretty often, um, even out of season, hunting season, I'm probably going to put, say, 75 bucks on this because it is new. It's literally excellent condition. Um, it's a deer skin by Melton. Um, it is flammable, but uh, it's a nice piece uh, for 10 bucks for the pair. The shirts alone usually go for 30 or 40 so if that gives you an idea. I got the pants, common size. A um, couple more shirts. Um, I looked these up and couldn't find anything really comparable as nice as these. These were full price. I paid $3.99 for it. You can see how nice the shirt design is. This is going to sell, I'll probably put, say, $34 to $45 bucks on it. Um, here's another one. This is by um, Cruisin' Low. Uh, 
another fancy one. It's a button down or has buttons down the face. Same as the other one. Good good item. I'll probably put the same price, 45 or so on it. And and the end, I got one more item. I've talked about uh, 90s hip hop and the style there. Oh, actually, there's a vest. I'm actually keeping the vest. It's a Helix. Nothing big. It's for me. Um, but the ones from the 90s I always buy have leather on them. This is the third one. I've gotten one every trip I've been out looking at clothing. Every single time. It's got real leather across the front. Um, this is probably, I'll put up 57.50. Um, I think the tag's falling off. Forum. It's a vintage 80s and 90s. Um, Knight's Bridge. Um, there's a lot of those earlier labels, but most any one of these, it's actual leather. It says it on the tag. Um, the hip-hop, um, I, I love some of the songs from the hip-hop era. Um, this is how we do it, Montel Jordan. That's what this always reminds me of uh, when I see him. Um, this is just a nice item. I buy them every time. Again, this is like the third one I've gotten this month, I think. And that's what I got. I think I got like 40 bucks in everything total. Um, we got lunch while we were out and had a decent day of it, but um, that's what I got. I should make probably 600 returns out of what you see. Um, that's the haul. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and tell your friends. Have a good day.